Hello everyone and welcome back to another video with On Point Politics and today we're going to be looking at the latest day averages in all of these battleground states. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want more content just like this. Just a quick th few things here. I really appreciate all the support that we got on the Virginia crowdfunding. We actually raised over a thousand dollars. You know, we have all of our donations here. We can see here. Thank you to Eric, Mark, Stefan, Robert, Stefan once again. We also have Nancy, Suzanne, Andrew, Michael. You know, this was from Ronnie Raygun but I donated it to myself as he donated to my cash app. This was anonymous. Thank you, Fred. Thank you, James. Thank you, anonymous. Rowena, I believe that's how you pronounce that name. And John, thank you to everybody who donated to the crowdfunding. I really appreciate it because we actually raised over $1,000. We're actually conducting an 1,000 voter sample in the state of Virginia. And really good news as well that I think you guys will find very exciting. We are now featured on the 538 aggregate. So we can see here our national poll from about a week ago is now listed on the aggregate for 538, meaning that our Virginia poll will show up in the 538 aggregate in the state of Virginia. And the only pollster that is sampling more voters than us is Fox News. So that is really exciting stuff as of right now. But we are going to get back to the premise of this video. We are going to be looking at all the polling averages for every state. So we can see in the state of Nevada, Donald Trump leads by 4.9 percentage points. That's going to put the state in the lean Republican column. This is a state that voted for Joe Biden in the last cycle by 2.4 percentage points. It's been trending to the right ever since 2008. So I'm not very surprised to see that that state is trending the way it is and that it would vote Republican this cycle. The next state is going to be the state of Arizona, where we actually have the exact same lead of 4.9 percentage points in the state as well. Both of them have the exact same lead as of right now, putting a Donald Trump in an advantage in the state of Arizona outside the margin of error. In the state of New Mexico, we also have a new polling data out of the state that has Biden competitive. You know, we see a plus one poll, a plus seven poll, a plus eight poll. If we were to average that out, that roughly averages around five to six points for Joe Biden. So we're going to be putting that in the likely Democrat column. We see in the state of Texas, as of right now, if we go to the aggregate, we see Donald Trump leads by 9.2 percentage points. That would be similar to his 2016 victory in the state of Texas, putting that in the likely Republican column. In the state of Florida, Donald Trump also leads by a pretty decent amount in this state. Donald Trump leads by 9.9 .9 percentage points. That would be a huge improvement over the last cycle where Trump won by 3.4 percent despite losing the presidency. That's going to put the state in the likely column as well. In the state of Georgia, Donald Trump enjoys a lead of 5.5 percentage points as of right now, this is a state Joe Biden narrowly won in the last cycle. So if Donald Trump were to win it by a likely margin, that would be a huge shift back towards Republicans in the state of Georgia. In the state of North Carolina, we also see that Donald Trump is leading by a pretty decent amount. He leads by 6.4% in the aggregate, putting the state in the likely Republican column. For the state of New Jersey, we can go ahead and look at the latest polling data. In the state, we see one poll has Donald Trump up by one. One has Biden up five points. If we were to average that out, that would probably come out to a lean margin for Biden. So we're going to be putting that in the lean Democrat column for this video. In the state of Virginia, we have polling data here that indicates this race is going to be competitive. If you average out all of the latest polls, that does show a lean margin for Joe Biden, that's going to put the state in the lean a Democrat column as well. If we go to the state of Ohio, a state that Donald Trump has been doing very well in the past two cycles, he leads by 9.3%. As of right now, that would put the state in the likely Republican column and would indicate 1.3 percentage point shift to the right from the previous cycle. In the state of New Hampshire, we actually see that a recent polling actually has Donald Trump up two points here. We see here it's a three-point lead. Here was around six points, but that is already back in May as of right now. If we were to average that out, that would also be a lean margin in polling as of right now. 
we see in the state of Maine at large that Donald Trump is down in rank choice voting. In the last round, Donald Trump actually loses in the final round of the rank choice voting. However, we actually see he's up by one here. We see he's up by six points here, and he Biden was only up by one in the last you know digital research poll as well and so if we were to average those results out we would have donald trump up in the state by three or four points giving him 270 electoral college votes in the state of new york the aggregate actually has donald trump down by seven and a half points on the rcp aggregate this aggregate has him up by 8.9 percentage points at least joe biden is up by nine points in the state so that's going to put the state in the likely democrat column in the state of pennsylvania we're going to go here and see something really interesting the state has donald trump up by 3.2 percent almost outside the margin of error that's going to put the state in the lean republican column we go to the state of michigan as of right now donald trump leads there by 0.5 percentage points putting him in the tilt Republican column in that state. And in the state of Wisconsin, we have Donald Trump leading by 1.9 percentage points in the state of Wisconsin, putting that in the, the lean Republican column. And for the state of Minnesota, we can actually go to the state, and we've actually seen a lot of recent polling that has Donald Trump up in the state as of right now. However, the latest aggregate does have him up by 1.1%, at least Joe Biden is. And so that's going to put the state in the lean a Democrat column. Nebraska second, if you average out the latest polls, it puts Donald Trump down by two points in Nebraska second, which gives Donald Trump 314 electoral college votes to Biden's 214 electoral college votes. So if you look at all of the polling averages, this is what the polling averages show as of right now for the 2024 presidential election. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel down below as well as follow the Twitter and join the Discord in the description down below. And be ready because I am going to start crowdfunding for a national poll very soon and I may even try to shoot more than a thousand voters. I may try to shoot for a 2,000, 3,000 voter sample so be ready for that. I will see you guys in the next video.